Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today it's Fun Fold Friday and I have a super cute clutch to show you today. It is a double pocket clutch. Let's change the camera and get started. This is our Fun Fold Friday clutch double pocket. You will remove the belly band and inside you will find double pocket. On the front you have a pocket for your note and then you have a pocket on the back side for your gift card holder. So it is a double pocket clutch. Super cute. Would be great for a wedding or Christmas, birthday, any holiday that you would like to give a little note and a gift card. So let's get started on that. We're going to start with a piece of the designer series paper that is 7 inches by 12 inches. So 7 inches by 12 inches. And then we are going to score this at 3 and a half. Three and a half. Get my cutter out of the way. Three and a half. We're going to turn this and do some more scoring here. We're going to score at three and a half and at eight and a half. All right. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to have some coordinating cardstock. This is the gray granite. And we're, this is cut five and a quarter by 11. And we're going to score this at one and a half, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, and seven and a half. All right, so that's all our scoring. So let's start with our pocket. This is going to create the pocket that's on the inside of our clutch. So you're going to fold it in half, which is at that three and a half inch. And you're going to fold it up on those. So burnish all your score lines. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put this back in your cutter trimmer. Line it up at three and a half. Okay. And you're going to cut down to that score line. So at three and a half. Pick that up. Come from the bottom and cut up to six. Or it would be eight and a half. Whatever print you want showing inside your pocket, you need to turn down. So I'm going to have the petal pink side showing. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold up that edge. Line up your sides. And fold up. And you're going to do that on both sides. So line it up with your crease. Just like that. Do that on this side. Oops. Make sure you fold in the right direction here. So get them all nice and straight. like that. All right, fold. You want to get these folds good. 
Good, good, good and furnished. Make sure it's all straight. And then fold on those folds. And there are your two pockets. All right. So, okay, now we're going to make our outside for our clutch. So you're going to fold on those score lines. Now you want to, the center one, the center one is going to go down and then the next one is going to go up and you're just going to accordion fold that. So the center one was down, down, up and finish that. So when you look at it from the side, it's going to look like a W or an M, just like that. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the white line tape and you're going to place that in this channel here. Just like that. Make sure that you go ahead and burnish those really good. You're going to take your pick tool and lift off that tear tape. You're going to take your pocket and you're going to center that so that, oops, it's down inside that channel and then you're going to take the other tape off and fold that over the top securing that inside the panel like so and then what you're going, so this is what it looks like on the outside. You're going to secure that panel down as well. So take your tear tape. You're going to do that on both sides. Probably should have did this before. I could run my liquid glue too, but... This way works. Take that. And that's going to go fold down like that. Go to the other side. and fold that down. So now when you open it up you have your double pocket just like that. Fold that and we're going to create the clutch. Now you can make sure that I got this straight. Decorate that front with the same designer series paper. All the measurements will be below in the video as well as on my blog. Make 
sure when you stick it all together you got it centered and square. All right, so then you can do your belly band. Now you can take a piece of what's left over from the side when you cut it. And what you're going to do is you're going to wrap and adhere that down. I'm also going to show you an alternative. Tear tape, fold it together, adhere your band so you can slide it on and off. I took the stamp set, the prize peony, which coordinates with the designer series paper, stamped that and cut that out with circle die. And then I cut a scallop circle die out of the gray granite paper. And then what you can do is just take a couple dimensionals, place that on there, and then probably center that so that it looks like that. And there you go, that is your clutch. Slide that off. You got your double pockets. You're going to create your little note card to put in the front pocket or the back pocket, whichever you prefer. I'm going to take the designer series paper. We'll take the little flower from the prize peony stamp set and a piece of whisper white. Or no, I don't need that. I could die cut it, but I'm going to stamp it right on my piece that's going to go in my pocket. Ink that up. This is the Petal Pink ink. Stamp that right there. Or you know what? It's going to go this way, so I want to stamp it horizontally, not vertically. That's all right. We're going to cover that up. There we go. And then I have a piece of the gray granite, which we're going to mat this on. I think I'm so used to doing my cards vertically. There we go. So now that can go in our little pocket here. Just like that. And then you can put your gift card in the back pocket. Now, if you don't want to do the belly band, to make this into a clutch, you're going to take these little 3 8 inch Velcro dot. I think one dot will do ya. You're going to place that right in there, just like that. Get the other side. Don't need that many. And these Velcro dots I get on Amazon, and you can find the link to that on my blog under more products at the top. So you're going to close up your clutch, close that up just like that, and now you got that. Then what you can do, I'm going to just take this off here a minute. If you wanted to, you could put this. So that it looks like it's closing it, you can put it up as high, higher if you want. You're just going to have to watch out for those dimensionals. I think I would take them off because I think they're too high. And then what you could do is you put your dimensionals here at the top. So a little higher than what I had them. Place that in the center, just like that. You got a cute little clutch. If you wanted to, I'm sure you could put a handle on it. So there's your options. You can either do 
the Velcro or the belly band for your clutch. But that is your Fun Fold Friday for today, a double pocket clutch. You, if you like what you see, make sure that you like, share, and share it. Leave comments. I always love comments. If you need any of the supplies, please visit my blog, www.thestampcamp.com. This is the host code for this month. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you hit subscribe and follow me so that you know when I go live. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.